Hello, reseller friends. It's Yvonne. I thought I would go over um, fourth quarter 2016, uh, October, November, December. It's about to fall off here. Just going to go over the highlights real quick. So we're at my store, Talent Trade. Let's go over here and get to... my listings and then we'll switch to sold okay items for sale these are current items for sale i want to scroll down <clears throat> excuse me sold listings there we go this is recent let me scroll down to december and we'll go December down to October. So that would be last quarter of 2016, fourth quarter. And we'll just go over some of the highlights. Yeah, okay, almost there. There we go. So some of these are regular Goodwill thrift stores. A few are bin items. I take, I do very few auctions and I take best offer I do buy it now and best offer and I take quite a few best offers so you can see here. So when you see that knock some dollars off because it means that I took a best offer and I'm doing it this way because I don't want to do it like looking at it from my back end so to speak because then it will have the buyer's address here and I don't think that's proper to do. I don't think we're allowed to do it. I don't think we should do it. So there we go. Ellen Tracy, just a little faux wrap, probably a bin find or a couple dollars. Nick and Zoe sweater. This was new with tags. I don't know why that, and it was a good size. I don't know why that, it took a while to sell and I ended up taking a best offer, I think like 20 or 22. I don't understand that at all, but I still made some money. I did charge shipping on like 99% of everything. That was something I just couldn't resist. It's not a well-known name, but it was just so cute. And it was only a few dollars. I think it was in one of my first haul video. Exclusively Miss Hook, Miss Hook, Miss Hook, however you say that. Popular, conservative brand, well-made, lasts forever, colors never fade. Just a great label. Always sells well. That's just a shell. That was cute. Velvet Burnout always does well. Coldwater Creek, I'll do a little bit of it if it's really nice. This was um, silk, 100% silk. New with tags, so that went well. This dress, I put leg in looking at to help me sell it because I thought it was gorgeous and it was brand new. But when I looked up the name, I found out it's pretty common import from a Hong Kong or China. They're on eBay, several distributors of that, and they don't sell for very much. So I left the name. So what I did is I'm like, I'm still going to go for this. I'm still going to try it. So I left the brand name off. I put it in the description, of course, but I left the brand name off and just went for style. And I sold it that way, even for a few more dollars than what you can go get one of those for imported. So that was a little tricky, but it did go fairly well. I made a little bit of money, so I'm kind of proud of that deal there. This was new to me, a Jack Spade partner with Kate Spade. I don't know. I tried to get more for that. It was great. I don't know what happened there, but I still got a little bit of money back. Nothing great. This did well. This was quick. Alpaca usually does. It wasn't one of the better known names, like say Peruvian Connection, but um, it was Woolies. So I put what was best in front. If it would have been a Peruvian connection, I would have put that first and then alpaca. But it was like a second, third level label. So I just kind of pushed it down a little. I always put my sizes last. I can't, like it irritates me. <laughs> Sorry to be pissy. I, it irritates me to, when I'm shopping, to have to look for the size. So I always like, I like to see the size last. Hardy Davidson, that was a little online arbitrage flip. 
I think I got that for twenty dollars, and I think I sold it for fifty-two. It was great. This was interesting. This was just a couple bucks at a thrift store. Um, this went overseas, I believe. I didn't get full price. It knocked some off of that. I didn't. I wasn't even sure. I think it was Persian lamb, but I put a question mark. I was honest in my listing. I'm not sure what this is, but it was beautiful. Let me see if I can do this and not lose our place. Whoops, that's what I didn't want to do. Is show seller information, so just please ignore that. And I did it again. Okay. Yeah, kind of said, hey, I'm not sure, but I wanted to show you the reason I'm stopping here. I wanted to show you the inside. See if we can get to that. It even had a flaw. This was it. The inside. See, the inside was all embroidered. So, and it didn't cost very much. Some things I just can't stand to leave behind. So, that's my little reseller problem, fashionista problem. But luckily, I still usually make some money, even on things that I feel like are poor, orphaned little items. And I'm like, I'm not leaving you here. I'm taking you home. I'm going to find you a good home, a new owner. Harley always does well. This was cute with the little Harlequin print, little bowling retro. I don't know why this didn't do better either. Alice and Olivia Silk Cashmere. I even had it on Poshmark. So I just had to mark it way down. I expected that to do around 38, 40, 42. It just didn't. Maybe the size, a small, maybe the size. That went really well. I think that only took a few days. Always do these, y'all. Any kind of um, imported from Ireland or any of the European countries, the um, wool things, the Fair Isle, Fisherman style. This was tricky. I bought this because it reminded, you know, it was distress. It reminded me of the um, Yeezy thing that's going on. I did that on purpose. You guys know that's a little gray area. I know I misspelled that. And if you you know why I did it, but I needed something to help me sell that for a little bit more than what I probably should have got for it. So I kind of had to get a little creative. <clears throat> I did that on two items and yeah. it seemed to help. This is a good men's golf brand, Peter Millar. Notice the A, okay. Those are always pretty pretty good to sell. I'm learning that from Ronnie Hart. That was cute. That's some jeans. I thought they were worth more. They cost more brand new. Um, it's kind of a Western cowgirl brand. So, oh, this was my first venture into men's shoes. I bought four pair. I don't think any of them cost me over like $4.99, and they all sold I just, the last pair just today. Um, the better sizes went quick. This is from Spain, so I think it was like three or four ninety nine. I think I took like somewhere around 60 and I full shipping. I'm sorry, full shipping. Those things are heavy. I put them in a nice flat rate uh, medium box so that, you know, they don't get disturbed. But people that buy higher end stuff, they're usually okay with shipping. They want their stuff to arrive nicely too. This was some retail arbitrage that I did be mostly because of um, April and Robin from, you know, the, you know who they are, and the girls on the reseller stew with me on Dub's channel, Pinching Pesos. So they do a lot of retail arbitrage at Marshall's and TJ Maxx. And Robin had mentioned some wild fox at Marshall's. But I know that's a good flip. So I went and looked, and I did find some free people and some... Uh, wild Fox, new with tags, and uh, I sold all of it. Some of it took, I think the last one took me about a month. I was surprised because I thought that was the best one, but I finally did sell all of it. Those, of course, retail arbitrage, I think I paid like $10, $12. Um, that one was the least profitable one. But I did pretty well with that. We'll see some of the other ones here in a minute, probably. That went well. I think this was in my first or second haul video. The alpaca. That's a good label. Calypso St. Bar. Peruvian. Again, so that went well. Um, one of those things where new, I just can't stand this, something new with tags just to sit there. Market and spruce and stitch fix. You don't get a lot for that kind of stuff. Well, it depends. It depends on what it is, but. Still, it sells pretty quickly, like to the anthro girls. This went overseas. I just thought it was beautiful. You'll see some of this 
sold this label. I think it's a European label. I can't remember now. It was really pretty. Some silk and like color block and different color sleeves. It was really soft and beautiful. It went overseas. I'm part of the global shipping program finally. These I just thought were stunning, but I went ahead and bought them and didn't look them up because I saw Skechers. I thought, well, that should be okay. And they were only like $1.99 or something. And But they had these lacquer, sleek lacquer um, heels and kind of a classic um, pump style, a little bit pointy toe, not, not overly pointed. But um, then when I looked them up, I was like, darn, you can't really get a whole lot for these probably because of Skechers and because they weren't real leather. They looked like it, but they weren't. But they did sell, so that's fine. I mean, they were really nice. They were cute. So some kind of like with a business suit or a little rockabilly girl dress, retro dress. That's all right. I mean, I won't do it again, but I did it then. I got some money. I'm cool. This is an okay brand from menswear. Again, learning from Ronnie Hard and um, some other people on eBay and, and YouTube. <clears throat> but it had Broadmoor Golf Club um, embroidered on it. I live in Colorado Springs, which is where the Broadmoor is. And that's an internationally, like, what, five-star, ten-star hotel with an epic golf course. I mean, it's world famous, not just in, not just the United States. It's world famous. So anytime I see anything of theirs with any kind of embroidery, I always pick it up. Eileen Fisher, you know, you we, most of us know that does well. Do that. Do Eileen Fisher. This is kind of a, this is a Preston and York. It's super soft little real rabbit fur pom-poms, kind of a Burberry, you know, take on that plaid, those colors. So I priced it up a little bit and just waited, and I got what I wanted. That was a good deal for them, too, though, don't get me wrong. Oh, this came back. It's up for sale again. You know, every once in a while, you get that customer that just doesn't, didn't really read all of the measurements, because I include full measurements in all my listings. Um, so I've got it back. She was nice though. She was honest. She just said it didn't fit. And so that meant she, I didn't have to refund the original shipping and she had to pay the shipping back. I just had to refund the actual purchase price. So I'm fine with that. It's back up for sale. I've got a couple or I've had a couple of these and they just didn't sell as well as I thought. Um, leg and look might have helped me a little bit, you know, been a bit of a stretch to add that in there, but I ran out of um, character space. I think that we have 80 on our titles. And so I chose some other things over it. Talked about this before in one of my haul videos. Christian, late 80s, 90s, very popular. The big shoulder padded oversized boyfriend blazers with a feminine touch. I'll, I'll pick those up. They're kind of retro. So I picked that one up for Christmas and it, it didn't get as much as I thought, but I wanted to go ahead and let it go. You can see the date. Christmas was approaching. I didn't want to keep it after Christmas, so I lowered it. There's another one of the shoe haul that I did. That I'm so excited about the shoes. So um, thanks again, you know, to Ronnie and Gretchen Hart um, for the motivation on that from their videos. And now I've learned some more people. I think Prof Sales had someone on the other day about shoes, Tino. So I'm really you know, I'm going to start, pay, he's going to start doing videos, he said, on the Prof Sales interview. So I'm going to start following him if that's true, because again, those just went crazy. Um, Johnson and Murphy, two, what was that? The one from Spain and two, um, oh my gosh, help. Come on now, this was, okay, I hope you run into it, because now I'm having a blank. I'll get back to that. Pick this up. This is a leather jacket, but it was in great shape. It was a decent size. So that sold pretty quick, actually. Nice little vintage retro. Remind me of Fez from the 70s show or Eric Estrada. Um, this is a good rockabilly pinup wiggle dress or any. Let's see, Viva Las Vegas is what that stands for. Um, rockabilly pinup bodycon. These are some good. Stop staring is the brand. It's not the best brand in that genre, like. Uh, Bernie Dexter, I think you can do a little bit better. Um, but I did okay on this. I did okay. I took a little bit less than that, but I did okay on that. It was cute. It wasn't real low cut, though, so I was a little worried. That's why I kind of shot it 
the cover shot at this kind of sexier angle because that okay i'm not real hip on doing this kind of a thing here um but because i knew that some of this label was starting to go down a little bit in price and this group this subculture likes a little bit of a sexier look and this didn't have like you know to show off the cleavage i'll say it was high top here um so i wanted to get a little bit more creative you know just to help sell that this was interesting two of these okay there's that one now, hang on i'm going to scroll down just a little bit oh alan edmonds duh there it is two pair of alan edmonds back to the shoes that's that's this seems to be a great right here i just learned it so excuse me for being excited some of you are probably like duh we already know that okay well i didn't so i'm really excited but anyways what was that yeah so there was two of these sets that animal print and this pure black and they both did pretty well it took a little while but they did both did pretty well one went overseas let's go back up to here um and here's what it was astro and so here's what I did for that leg and look a little bit of a stretch because on this one to say leg and look because of the um, animal print better on better on the black one a little bit of a stretch here you know what can we do we try to you know do our good keywords but this was good occidental style that was fine um, orient style because well if I click over you guys I'm, I'll be betraying when I'm not supposed to show you know seller addresses and stuff but it had these like square like this came in down as a square this was ruched on the side it was a nice jersey slinky and like plus size i think they cost me like 5.99 or something i was tickled with that both of those this was a little bit of a vintage um so i, I kind of played around with that the name is okay that's an okay name it's vintage it's not you know there's not a hundred thousand people looking for that like you know like nike or something like that so i got creative um, of course duster is a good word so i did the role play enactment because to me that looked like it could lend itself to that so i do that a lot role play enactment some things i'll do like cosplay you know oh yeah so the shoes so yeah so i did well with all those shoes that cost me like three and 4.99 i'm so tickled it's definitely on my list now men's shoes rag and bone that was part of the retail arbitrage from marshall's along with the um wild fox sweatshirts iconic um, themed sweatshirts with the text on them and some free people so that's a pretty pot that's a great this is an expensive label here and that was a good price for me good price for them i think i paid 12 or so at marshall's new with tags though bogner does well bogner ski brand it does okay I've got another piece up i buy it whenever i see it if the price is right i got another piece up but the problem with it is it's got an unusual floral pattern it's not the greatest pattern but i just wasn't going to leave it because it was bogner so i'm still trying to sell it but this went pretty quick <clears throat> Bogner, Nils, N-I-L-S, what else? Dimitri, that's a little bit old school. Spider, oh my gosh, I can't even think, you guys, sorry. Oh my gosh, I wish I could think. I should have wrote some of this down. I always pick up this kind of stuff. I always pick up Renaissance, Gypsy, Boho. Bo this is more Gypsy Renaissance, like Think Pyramid Catalog. I think I talked about this when I bought it in a haul video. I wasn't going to put Pyramid Catalog in the title because I don't think it was from there. It could have been. Um, but that's kind of the people who like that kind of stuff that that catalog specializes in. They like that. Wiccan too. I don't, that's a little bit more of a religious controversial term, so I don't use it. Can if you want to, but I think that's being iffy. Renaissance from Gypsy is better those two victoria's secret robes i was kind of shocked in the haul video i told you guys i said of course this animal print one will sell first well i still have that so i'm kind of shocked that one went for like i think 18. it didn't cost very much now another piece of the retail arbitrage from um you know with the rag and bone free people and wild fox is what i chose again from that marshall's um haul retail arbitrage so i think that went for 42 i believe 
I always price my stuff up a little bit because I know I'm going to take a best offer or run a sale in a couple of weeks if it, you know if something doesn't sell. Just a little Ross pickup. This was cute. It reminded me of Johnny was. I got all excited, but of course it wasn't. But it still did well. It still did fine. I think I even put the brand name last. Sometimes I don't put it at all if I don't think it's really going to help. Some Christmas stuff I did. I got two of these. I got one left. It's modest swimwear. UV protection. Okay, Wild Fox. Part of the Marshalls arbitrage again. Some shoes. I picked up another Peter Miller piece. Loved this. $7.99 at Goodwill. Turned out to be a Betsy Johnson. Pretty famous dress. It has Bambi. I don't know if you can see it, but if you like go and look yourself and see the other pictures, <clears throat> it has Bambi on it. Pretty famous runway dress. A couple celebrities <clears throat> are seen wearing it online. Oh gosh, this used to be real popular. Benetton, United Colors of Benetton. This used to be like in the late 80s, 90s. This was really popular. Like think Gap and J. Crew, but with a little bit more flair. Just a touch more flair. Not over the top, okay? Um, but I guess people are over it. it. Took forever to sell. Didn't get as much for that as I hoped. Didn't have the skirt. I talked about that in the haul, but it did sell for Christmas. Oh my gosh, I wanted this so bad. I tried so hard to get this on. I just, I'm, mm, I'm an eight to ten, and it just, I could not get it. I just needed like three quarters of an inch. So I went ahead and sold it. I think I took way less. I mean, like I took way less on this. I'm thinking somewhere around ninety or so because. This is real popular in the 90s. His Some of his stuff is epic. I mean, epic. It's in fashion museums. Like, you should look this brand up just if you're a fashionista and just are curious. Um, and if you're, like, under 30, you might not really remember this. But it's so epic in the fashion world. I wanted that so bad for myself. But she was very happy with it. I know she took good care of it. I'm still looking for a piece myself good deal. Some more exclusively in the stock. I don't like to do a lot of Woolrich anymore. It's very iffy, but I did this right before Christmas. I thought I'd be okay with it. It was lined it, because it was red and black buffalo plaid. So, and a little bit of friends. So I'm like, okay, for Christmas it should do okay. It was only a few bucks. I'm gone. I did sell one of those um, scarves that I talked about. Almost done. These are just some of the highlights from my main store here. Blood for that dress too. A little quatrefoil pattern. Some people might call this Moroccan. Lululemon. Some Lululemon's coming down. You really got to have a good piece for the resale value to stay up there. But there's, it's still a pretty easy flip if you're willing to price some of the smaller pieces, some of the smaller leggings, and like basic pieces. If you're willing to come down a little bit less than what we're used to getting, say beginning of last year. Um, maybe it'll pick up again in spring, but you know the bigger pieces are are still you sh it's still a great flip. So mm, sold those once they came back, sold them again pretty quick. I think they were like a dollar. Oh, I sold that and then they didn't pay, so I put it back up and I got more for it the second time, didn't I? Those were like two or three ninety nine. Dimitri, this was vintage. The color was awesome, but it was vintage, so it took a little bit, I think four weeks or so to sell, but it's really cute. Pendleton, I don't do a lot of Pendleton anymore. It's got to be pretty pretty great. And of course, this of the Pendleton, this is what I will do, is any of their jackets or vests or, that are in that um, blanket, that blanket material, that blanket pattern. Southwest, you got to be careful on your keywords on that. Aztec and Navajo, especially Navajo. You got a lot of people put Navajo. You better be careful. That's iffy. That can cause a problem. Sold those. I think I talked about those. I was not going to leave St. John. I know. I know. I mean, they were like very vintage, but look at that. So yeah, those did sell more exclusively. Masuk, Masuk, Trina Turk. Only if it's like really, really cheap. It's a, it's a good label. It is, but resale, I don't know what's wrong. But this was cute. I actually got it for my daughter, and she didn't want it, so it didn't cost very much. One time I got a whole bunch of skater t-shirts. This was the last one. It wasn't the best one. This was the last one. The really, really cool ones like sold quickly. 
I talked to you guys about this in a haul video. Be careful with your bling. It's kind of on its way out. I mentioned that the reason I went ahead and got this one is because it was a vocal. It was a shark bite tunic made in USA. This is still kind of a good label, but the bling is getting a little iffy. There's still some factions that, that wear it. I talked about it some more. So one thing about this, usually whenever you whenever I find it, there's more pieces around. Some Christmas stuff I did. Let me talk about this for a minute. I got four of these sensory. I learned this from Deb Pinching Pesos. They were like a dollar ninety-nine a piece. These are uh hang on. Dead dead stock? New old stock? Dead stock, not made anymore. Anyway, so I knew that they sold well. I did sell all of them, I think four of them. So I think 22 20 and then the last two I sold for like 45 bundled together so you know eight dollars into what like 80 that was great so you know Yankee candle stuff is always always take a peek at that this was cute let me turn I don't know if I even bothered to put the label in this because it wasn't like a rain spooner or anything so I didn't bother I don't think I used my 80 characters to build up other parts of it. So that did pretty well. Those Tommy mules that I talked about did okay. I mean, they were only a few bucks. This is, if, uh, okay, so you fashionistas again, if you don't know about irregular choice, you might look that up on eBay. They make some really like funky and great shoes. If you like fun shoes, themed shoes. These were just some flats, and they'd been chewed on by a dog even. Full disclosure on all that. Other than that, she never got to wear them. Looked like their, her dog chewed on them or something before she even got to wear them, but it wasn't that bad. And since this is such an expensive brand, I went ahead and put them up, and I think I took 22 They only cost me a couple dollars, but I just, that is an epic. They're so fun. Again, if you like, like some Disney-themed platform shoes some star trek i don't know that means that kind of thing fairy prince i like it's worth looking at it's fun that went overseas that was a, a moda international which is the same as a um, company with victoria's secret i didn't do like what i thought it would do for being anthropology odell or odell and 100 percent silk but i think i paid 3.99 for that I think I took 12. I won't do that again. I always do Athleta. Athleta, Lucy, Prana, not as high as Lululemon, but still good enough. That was cute. Oh my gosh, my black halo dresses. I found two like in a six week period. Sold them both for somewhere around 130, 140, 150. Always black halo. Oh my gosh. Remember that label. You'll see another one here in a minute that I sold. Robert Graham, I did okay on that. You can see the pastel. I mean, it was contrast. It was the contrast. Not a high contrast one, but the sleeves were different, the cuffs, the collar. It did have the embroidered, you know, knowledge, truth, wisdom. But um, probably the pastel colors is what prevented me from getting too much for that. This was a good Eileen Fisher little um, cascade swing jacket. The color was very helpful in the size on that one. I think I took 56, I believe, somewhere around there. Again, I always put all my prices up a little bit because I know I'm going to accept the best offer. And after a couple of weeks, I'm going to run, start running sales on things. Wagner vintage ski pants and that thick ponte fabric. I love. What girl does not love that ponte fabric? Some more Eileen Fisher, Nick and Mo Anthropology. Won't do that again. That was just beautiful. Not a big name there, but it was just beautiful. So I tried lots of different ways to sell it, and this is what I came up with, and it finally worked. It was just so beautiful. I just didn't want to leave it. I usually do better on kimono robes. This one was not in a hundred percent great shape, and it was a small size. I usually do better and better price on those. I still made money, of course. Okay, so I sold these once. They came back, and I, as soon as I listed, they sold. Sell, they sell again. Sold again. Um, those are the ones I paid a dollar for. And she was honest too, and just put didn't fit. So she, when she, when I gave her the refund, it was for price only, not for shipping and not for return shipping. So I love honest buyers. Talked about this one before. Talked about this on the reseller stew as well. 
Harley Davidson t-shirt. The reason I got so much for it for this dollar ninety nine is because that stretch like pantyhose material sleeves that make it look like you have um, you know your full tattooed on your arms. So those sell for a little bit more. Was not going to leave hippie pants behind. St. John talked about that. That had no label, but I knew it was a St. John Santana knit. I was so happy that sold pretty pretty quick. Talked about it on the reseller's too right after it sold. Love that. I was proud of that pick. I think it was $7.99 or $9.99 and it sold pretty quick. I think one, gosh, I can't remember. $120? I can't remember, but anyways, it was great. These I should have got a little bit more for, like somewhere between like 80 to 100 But I think the problem with these was that the size tag was gone, no size dot and no size tag. So I just kind of had to guess according to the Lululemon size chart. I think that was a hindrance on these. But I still got okay money for them. There's some bread and butter stuff. This is good here. Kind of a, it's remind you, it's very classic. I thought it was a St. John. When I felt it, I knew it wasn't because it wasn't a sleek of a knit, if you know what I mean, but it was still good. Vintage Castleberry. It did have the union label. It sold pretty well. It knocked some off again. That was the best offer. Uh, always do Hail Bob. As long as it's in good condition, always do Hail Bob. That went overseas. Oh my gosh, look here. We can still sell a Starbucks cup. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Did that take a dive or what? Oh, looks I even misspelled that. Darn it. My bad. Still sold, thank goodness. Got $36 and then the shipping. Harley Davidson always does well. Don't know why that um, Kooji didn't do better. Talked about those. I sold them once. He forgot to pay. Put them back up. And I think the same buyer bought them. They had those in the women's. I talked about that. They had those in the women's section. And so they made it all the way to the half price. So I think they were just a few bucks. Proving connection always does well. That super padded bulletproof bra. Rock 47 is a great brand within the Wranglers. Um, Q Baby and Rock 47 within the Wranglers. I'm a Levi girl. I don't love Wranglers, but I will do the women's Rock 47 and the Q Babies. I just thought this was cute. It's from Germany. It ruched, pulled up, and then had two layers of like lace and sheer underneath it. So cute. So I did a little stretch and I put leg and look on it. So cute from Germany. I'd have kept it if it was my size. This was Pyramid Collection. I think I had to sell that twice. Right here, okay, I don't, this is actually Old Navy. You notice it's not even in the title. It is in the item specifics because you know that's proper but I didn't waste my time putting it in here the reason I bought this I don't buy Old Navy the reason I did this is because um, Little Lemon has a pattern that's pretty popular called Unicorn Tears and this looked like it so I couldn't put like Little Lemon you know but I could put Unicorn Tears you know and that might someone who was looking for Little Lemon might if they put in Unicorn Tears it might pop up somewhere at the end you know, I don't do keyword spamming or try to misrepresent by sneaking in another label that something's not just because it's like it. That's against the rules. It's not fair play. It's against the rules. It's aggravating to buyers when they're looking for something and your stuff pop, pops up, you know, because you're trying to, you know, you've spammed it with all these other brand names that it is not. But anyways, that's why I chose that. It's cute, isn't it? This is made in USA, California. Loco Lindo, they do a lot of retro, whimsical stuff. Usually sells pretty well. Mugs, oh, I wanna talk about mugs. Oh, and so again, Ronnie and Gretchen Hart, thank you. It's my first Burberry that I found in the men's. I think I took 120 for that. And then the shipping, folded up gently, lots of tissue paper. Again, folded up gently, put it to a flat rate medium box which cost us what about 11.95 if you get the commercial plus if you're top rated seller i don't want it to get squished i learned my lesson on that my one and only neutral ever ever in all the years i've been selling was because i tried to cram a high-end jacket 
equestrian jacket into a flat, a padded flat rate envelope for five ninety five. Don't don't do that. <laughs> like, oh my gosh, I'm so embarrassed. I already admitted it, so I can admit it again. Ack. That was cute. That was a cute little thing. So another stitch fix. This was the Ralphie Romper new with tags. I put it up for auction. I only got one bid, but that's okay. Twenty eight is fine. I don't think it cost me very much. Zara collection. Sometimes you can do well with Zara collection. Sometimes not so well. Again, it's that's um, trend has to be on point with some of these labels, and Zara collection is one of them. Oh gosh, I love this Erdem Erdem dress. This is from England. Um, Kate Middleton, the princess, wears a lot of this. All the wealthy socialites wear this brand over there. And of course, of course, you know, U.S. and all over the world. But anyways, that sold well. 144. She loved it. Another Eileen Fisher, Neiman Marcus. I had to get creative with this one. This tweed jackets are still in style, but it's a little iffy. Um, it's got to have a little updated twist to it to be on point trend wise. So I got a little creative. Neiman Marcus is why I went ahead and did it in the silk. So I got a little creative, ladies' lunch, things like that. So I always do this always always any always look at Nordic fair isle sweaters and if it's um, imported from any of the European um, you're great if it's Dale in Norway you're golden always look at that kind of stuff never heard of this brand but it did well so I learned something new loved this look at this this took a, about a month and a half to sell and I was shocked I would not come off my price though I'm like this is too cool it had all these cutouts I did not come up my price I finally got what I wanted so there's where sold him once he didn't pay so he had to rebuy them another St. John's a little bit knock some off of that but it was a two-piece set I still did well I think I paid like $7.99 for the set learn your St. John and your Santana knit and again you've been told by many of us do not confuse St. John with St. John's Bay um, What's the difference? Oh, about a hundred dollars in resale price. St. John's Bay is what is that? I don't even know. Coles, JC Penny. I'm not even sure because I don't even care. St. John is what we want to, you know. Again, I learned that mostly from Ronnie Hart and Gretchen Hart on Hart Pickers. They don't do a lot of ladies' clothing, but even this is something that they'll do. They, you know, and so I think that's where I learned it. Sundance stuff does okay. I always pick it up. Sundance catalog stuff. Victoria's Secret bras, only if they're perfectly clean, no pilling, and preferably push up for me to want to do it. This was imported, and I think it went, I did it because of the blend. Silk wool mohair, um, got creative again, charity lunch, career. It went overseas. It went back overseas. Tommy Davidson, I always do hard Davidson stuff. This is cute. This was only a like five ninety nine or something, a little body. This was so small, I didn't know if I could sell it. It was like extra small, petite, and like really, in my opinion, x x x small. And I was honest in the ad. Like if you go look at it, I'm like, you need to really be petite to get this on. I'm not kidding. I'm like, because I didn't want to return. It was super stretch bondage. Wow, band aid bondage. Um, I don't like bondage, so I always say band aid band aid. Um, it kind of will pull up the same thing. So I bought this and I noticed, okay, I didn't bother looking it up because I figured it was good and didn't cost very much. But then when I went to list it, I'm like, oh my gosh, there's a ton of these. Okay. And they're like under 20 bucks. So what I did was try to get creative again. I don't think I even put the label on there on my title. So instead of doing peanuts, which was what everyone else was doing, I bypassed it. I put Woodstock because there's Woodstock, Charlie Brown, Snoopy, Collegiate. And the reason I did, not to stretch on that, but the reason CD Stripes, that's how I justified it. Um, super soft. I don't do a lot of that, like, oh, this is so pretty and this is so soft. But, you know, here again, I was trying to sell something that there were a lot of other ones of and trying to get a little bit more money than everyone else. So I got a little creative and did some things, you know, a little deviation of what I would normally do. And it worked. Those were great. Love that. There's the other Sensi. Sensi, Sensi. See the Falcons. I don't even know what to say about that. 
Oh, here's another rockabilly dress, Lindy, Lindy Bop. Mm, prices not as good as Bernie Dexter again. I wish I could think of some other names for you guys, for you girls, but you can, you know, Google, you can do the eBay search or Google it and learn all the names. I can only remember the ones that I've actually sold. Kyodan, about like price range of Lucy and just under Lucy and not as good as Athleta, but I, I, it's a personal favorite of mine. So I always buy it. It's got these little two mirror image KKs. Kyodan. Some things will do better. Some pieces of Kyodan will do better. I liked this, this Michael Phelps hat. And it was signed by another, not a high profile swimmer, but a, up and coming trying to be professional. He signed it. Or no, he owned it and had his name in it. That's what it was. So I put the price up a little bit and went for it and waited. And I did get, I think, 22 or so. Victoria's Secret, only if they're cheap. Okay, well, that's all because what I'm doing is I'm looking at this as if I'm in someone else's account because I wanted, I didn't want, um, I wanted bigger pictures and I didn't want the, sell, the buyer's address in there, name and address, because I don't think we're supposed to do that. So unfortunately, I can't go much further than that. There were probably, there were some more epic things in there. Another black halo dress that went for like 120, 150. Anyways, those were some of the highlights and kind of how I wiggled around title keywords on some of this stuff. So that's all. I think I'm going to do some listing now. And I hope you guys are having good sales or good sourcing finds. All right. Thanks, reseller friends. I will talk to you later.